sit down with the traitors and their latest victims for an after show that explores strategic gameplay and psychological warfare that led to each victim's demise. It just felt like everyone was just being two-faced. Larsa. Larsa, I voted for you. They're like wounded animals. They're just a herd of sheep. The traitors, post-mortem. Join us, won't you? There's all the dudes are gone. It's gonna come back to me. You're gonna have to do it. I know. Just black widow time. Okay, help me get the chalice, and I will. Yeah. Survey yeah. the scene. I wanted to give it to MJ or somebody else, but time was ticking and I was running out of time and I had a rusty old cup that looked nothing like any of the other glasses that people were drinking out of and I didn't think that anyone else would drink out of my cup. So Ekin and I have a great relationship. I'm like, this is the only option I have at this point. I don't want to kill Ekin, she's my girl, but she's the only one who I think will actually drink out of my cup. So. That's why she got poisoned. Did you get any, did, did anyone touch it? I can see. Her. <gasps> oh, my Lord, sweet baby Jesus. Not Atkins, Lord, not Atkins. That is gonna put a target on me like crazy. I hated that poverty could only trick Atkins into drinking the poison chalice, but you know, you can't change the decision after it's been made and it is what it is. If you prick us, do we not bleed? Yep. If you poison us, oh. <laughs> do we not die? Alan says there has been a suspicious poisoning. As soon as Alan mentions that, it's like I almost felt the poison physically, not literally, but I felt like it was me. I don't know what it was. I just feel like the traitors were onto me since the whole discussion the round table the night before they were on to me because I spoke up and I mentioned something that happened in the mission which caused a bit of drama. There's a shield there, my hand goes in, I grab the shield box, you grab the shield box. In that moment in the game, in a rush, she just barged me and ran off. That's and false. Then, it's not false because it you, is. I can you keep saying desperate. your hand was in there and it wasn't. I don't really, I don't really have like a strong game plan. I just thought, you know, I'm going to be myself. I'm going to probably, you know, shock people with my intelligence and that's why people were shocked when they found out stuff about me oh you know she's not just a pretty face she's actually intelligent she's very alert she she sees attention to detail the thing about ek and sue is when she said anything with her accent it was actually pretty believable she was very unpredictable in this game and i think she was smarter than a lot of people gave her credit for i feel like a lot of mind games have been used on me i wanted to just be quiet I realized if I speak too much, I get accused. God, it just felt like everyone was just being two-faced. And I even made jokes. I went to every single person and I'm gonna get poisoned. I'm getting poisoned, you know, that it's me. And they were laughing at me. I can feel the poison. Well, man, who would have thought that this would have worked so beautifully in favor of the traders? You can't always strategize yourself because things happen in your life. You can't control it and then it takes you on another road. You should just be yourself. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't work, then you just have to kind of go with it. Actually, this game has made me grow as a person. I had to vote to banish Larsa. Larsa was on to me from the second our eye masks were lifted off of our faces. And I could not have her attacking me in the house anymore. I feel like my hearing is really good. Are you, were you trying to listen when he stopped? Yeah, no, not too. when he stopped, but when he lifted his jacket. And, and it was to my left. Wow. And my ears were so strong that I could feel the vibration of him lifting his jacket. Larsa was a, such a real threat because she had a powerful voice. People listened to her. People valued her opinion, and they wanted her to like and approve of them. So I think that Larsa had the capacity to bring people in and point them in a certain direction, and she was pointing them towards me. And um, I couldn't have that happening anymore. What about you, Lester? So who are you thinking? Oh, I'm not a vibe person. I'm like a action person. I think it's a man. I knew that Larsa was on to me, but I don't know what she had against poverty. 
the second she took her blindfold off, she jumped all over Parvati. And I don't know if it's a personality thing or something else, but to me, it didn't make sense why Larsa went after Parvati. It made sense to me why she was suspect of me, but I, sometimes, I don't know it, sometimes personality traits are enough to make someone suspected of being a traitor. A lot of this game is about personality traits. She was very suspicious of uh, poverty, which a lot of the people were very suspicious of poverty. I, I guess it was a, a vibe they got, you know, everyone's vibing. But um, yeah, so Larsa definitely had suspicion of poverty off the bat. Parvati. Do I even say her name right? I'm not even sure, and nor do I care. I started giving her a nickname of Snow White because she just kind of like snuck in every room and you wouldn't even, like, she wouldn't even say hello. She would just creep in and just listen. I initially thought when I got to the castle, I was going to be a sponge. I was gonna be like SpongeBob, just taking in everyone's information and not necessarily sharing so much. I started off like that, but I think I, I don't know, I just kind of like lost my mind when my boyfriend was murdered, my little sister was poisoned. I literally felt like I had to speak up and I had to do something drastic and, you know, say my piece and tell people how I felt and who I thought was a traitor. Tonight, let's vote for a man. I think a man is easier for us to narrow down, at least get rid of one. Okay, board. so they want to go to the board and say, let's go to the let's board. Go to the let's board. Go to the board. I'm, I'm saying we're women, let's, okay, let's go this way, sorry. Which way, this way, let's go this way. Larsa told me that she thought one of the traitors was an alpha male, and in particular CT. I think people got sick of Larsa just throwing out random names with no other reason than just the fact she felt like we were traitors. I think when things started turning against me and when people started to think I was a traitor, I think that was basically because MJ wasn't poisoned. They thought I saved her. And when Marcus was first murdered, they thought, well, she can't murder him. She would never murder her boyfriend. But once he was gone, they thought and I'd be the perfect you know, person for them and no one, I would go unnoticed. Marcus was murdered. You said cheers to Marcus. I toast to everyone. Cheers to Marcus, cheers to everyone. I think the cheers was weird. You're telling me that's weird? Cheers? Um, I think I, you're weird. I don't know, I think like my personality starts off really nice and then I can't help it. I get really passionate and I think I get loud and I think I talk fast. I was trying to be calm, but I feel like I had so much anxiety. You know what? No one's gonna suspect you murdering Marcus, so it's brilliant to do if you were a traitor. All the guys that have been murdered are big guys that we need. Who is the person that's doing all this? Look at the profile. Another big guy that's murdering these people is doing it because he doesn't need them. Why does it have to be a big guy? I think Larsa could have lasted a lot longer in this game if she kept some of her opinions to herself. If she had an opinion, you knew about it right away, whether it made sense or not. I feel like being on The Real Housewives of Miami, like, you learn to figure out who's full of shit. You learn to figure out who doesn't really like you. And I feel like being around a lot of strong, independent women, you kind of have to be outspoken and be able to tell your story. And so I felt like that would be, you know, that would be carried on, you know, to the traitors. But I feel like this game is a quiet game. I don't think I should have been trying to do the same strategy as I normally do on Housewives. Who has the capacity to perform this part is actors and I think Housewives as well. Can it mean like I murdered my boyfriend and all my closest friends? Well, it's possible. Yeah. It's we don't act, my friend. No, we are. We live our life. We live our life. It's just, it's performance as well. Don't come for the Housewives, honey. I hate that Larsa got vanished because She's a real pit bull. She's obviously on my network. I've never met her except for being here, but I enjoyed, you know, her company. We had some great conversations and I would have appreciated having her in the house a little longer. I feel like had I had more time, I really feel like the housewives, we could have united and came up with you know, a solid trader. I just feel like my decision was kind of impulsive and I think I shook things up for a lot of people and I don't think they were ready for that. They're like wounded animals. They're just gonna be followers or a bunch of, they're just a herd of sheep.